Hello, I'm Steve Wheatley and I'm Butterfly Conservation's Regional Conservation Manager for South East England. I have a series of slides here which highlight some of Surrey's highest priority butterflies and moths. And I'll be talking about some of the conservation actions that have been delivered for these species over the last five years and some of the actions that we'll be delivering in the coming years. Butterfly Conservation is a national organisation, but as a charity, our resources are limited. We therefore have to make clear decisions about how we work and where we prioritise our efforts. This document highlights our highest priority species that are in need of conservation action. It also highlights the priority landscapes and high priority sites within those landscapes and within the wider countryside. All of the information in here is underpinned by strong scientific evidence. Most importantly, the records that have been collected by our volunteers and by the wider public. This has helped butterfly conservation develop one of the best invertebrate databases in the world. Thanks to the fantastic work of volunteers in the local area, Surrey is now one of the best recorded counties in the whole of the UK. So here we have a map of the county with some of the major towns marked on there for reference, and also some of the major roads. On the left hand side, you'll see six lovely butterflies and moths, all of which are special to Surrey. Five of these are highlighted in our UK conservation strategy as high priority species for conservation action. They were also recognised at a national level as UK Biodiversity Action Plan species. One of the six species here was not listed as a high conservation priority in our UK conservation strategy, but it might become a conservation priority in the future. I'll now briefly go through each of these in turn. First then we'll look at the lovely wood white butterfly, seen here engaged in its own unique courtship. This is one of my favourite butterflies and one of the rarest butterflies in the UK. It's found here in the woodlands on the Surrey-Sussex border. The squares here represent all of the recorded sightings of this butterfly in the last 10 years. The next nearest colony is around 64 miles away on the border with Buckinghamshire and Northamptonshire. So this colony here is very, very special, but also very, very isolated. Funded by the Heritage Lottery Fund, Butterfly Conservation is undertaking a project to massively increase the availability of the butterfly's food plants. The caterpillars of the woodwhite butterfly feed on meadow vetchling, birdsfoot trefoil and greater birdsfoot trefoil, tufted vetch and bitter vetch. Over the next few years, our project officer and volunteers will be sowing around 10 kilograms of the seeds of these plants, all collected from the wilderness landscape. More than three kilometres of bare ground will be created in strips into which we will seed these plants. This will create new corridors for the butterfly and it will help to connect up currently isolated colonies within this small population. So far we've created around one kilometre of these strips with two kilometres still to go. We're engaging the help of a wide variety of good conservation partners in this project and we hope to generate here a model of conservation action that can continue to be delivered by these partners in the future and can also be delivered elsewhere in the UK. This project runs until 2022, so if you'd like to get involved, do get in contact. On now to another one of my favourite butterflies, the silver studded blue. Easily identified and distinguished from the other blues by the thick black band around the edge of the wings. The silver studded blue is restricted in most of the UK to the sandy heaths. In Surrey, this means the Thames Basin heaths and the Wildon Greensand heaths. Again, the squares here indicate where the butterfly has been recorded in the last 10 years. Heathlands in the UK are under a great deal of pressure, especially in the busy southeast, where building development and recreational pressure are especially high. There's also the increased risk of uncontrolled fires in these areas which can do a huge amount of damage to these rare habitats in a very short time. Butterfly conservation works with a wide variety of partners to protect these valuable landscapes. Some of the major partners are shown here. Without the continued support of these valuable partners and others, we would not be able to protect these valuable habitats and protect the silver studded blue. So how is the silver studded blue currently faring in this landscape? Well, I'm pleased to say that we are seeing an upturn here. Since we began our delivery of the UK conservation strategy, we've seen an increase in the distribution of the butterfly in the Thames Basin heaths and especially in the Wild and Green Sands. The increase in recorded distribution here will be partly due to increased survey coverage, but also the sterling work of our volunteers 
and our conservation partners here to protect and enhance the habitat. On now to the delicate straw bell moth. This moth is recorded in only 10 sites in the whole of the UK. All of them are on the North Downs. Nine of those sites are in Kent and one is in Surrey at Box Hill, which is owned and managed by the National Trust. A peak of 90 straw bell were recorded here in 2020, making this the strongest colony at any single site in the whole of the UK. We have records here dating back to 1877, and they all seem to be clustered in the Box Hill area, suggesting the moth has never moved far from this core colony, and showing just how important this site is. On now to another species found on the North Downs. The silver spotted skipper is a lovely little butterfly which wasn't flagged up as a high conservation priority in the UK conservation strategy. However, recent analysis of the data is showing that while the butterfly has been doing well on the South Downs, it seems to be struggling on the North Downs. Butterfly conservation will need to continue to monitor the situation here, and this could become a conservation priority in the coming years. On now to another of Surrey's high priority moths. The heart moth is so called because of the heart shape on the wings. Interestingly though, both parts of the scientific name, Dicycla and U, refer to the circles on the wings rather than the heart. This oak feeding moth used to be widespread across the southeast and widespread in Surrey as you can see here. But since the 1970s there seems to have been a severe decline in the distribution of this moth. It prompted butterfly conservation to launch a new project called We Love Heart Moth which was supported by Surrey Wildlife Trust. Over a three year period, we've undertaken searches for this moth across its previous known range, and especially across many sites in Surrey. What we've discovered is that this moth seems to have almost completely disappeared from Surrey, with the exception of this one particular area. It has almost completely disappeared from the rest of the UK as well. However, in that one particular area in southeast Surrey, wherever we put a moth trap, we seem to find the moth. But travelling just a few miles away from that one site, even in similar looking habitat, heart moth cannot be found. In one survey season, the entire UK distribution of heart moth consisted of one heart moth in Berkshire, two heart moths found in Kent, and 51 found in Surrey. So this one area of Surrey is by far the greatest stronghold for the heart moth in the whole of the UK, but we still quite don't understand why. More study is certainly going to be needed here. We need to understand what makes this landscape so special. It certainly doesn't look very different from many other areas of southern England. And finally on to the UK's smallest butterfly, the small blue. Like the straw bell moth and the silver spotted skipper, this butterfly is restricted to the chalk grasslands, so it's found in Surrey on the North Downs. The blue squares here show distribution of the butterfly up to 2016. Of particular interest is this area circled in red. This area between Guildford and Dorking shows that the butterfly is fairly well distributed, but that colonies had become increasingly fragmented and isolated, with some big gaps between sites that support the butterfly. Funded by the Viola Environmental Trust and working with a variety of other organisations in this area, butterfly conservation has created new habitat and sown kidney vetch, the caterpillar food plant of the small blue. The yellow squares here show where that work has been taking place. The result is that just two years later, the small blue has already moved into most of the areas where we've been working. And as the kidney vetch develops, I'm sure the butterfly is going to spread into more and more of these areas to fill those gaps. This is an approach to the conservation of the small blue butterfly that could be applied throughout the UK. And here is the small blue on kidney vetch, looking to lay eggs for the next generation of this rare species. So thank you for listening. I hope this gives you a flavour of the work butterfly conservation has been doing and how our priorities are informing where we can apply our limited resources for best effect. I also hope that this shows the great value of working in partnership. And I'd like to say thank you to all of the organisations that we've worked with in the South East. And a huge thank you to our butterfly conservation volunteers who deliver so much practical conservation work and gather data on so many of these important species. We're five years into the delivery of the 10 year conservation strategy and I'm sure the next five years are going to generate lots more action that's going to help to save butterflies. Thank you.